<laughs> Ready, guys, welcome level, back baby. Come on, now, let's get to another up. episode of Here we go. NBA 2K14. The hype is real, baby. This is a big game. We're going up against Derrick Rose, Joachim Noah, and the Bulls. Let's see what we can do here. This is huge. Now, uh, one thing that's really unfortunate I want to let you guys know about is I accidentally deleted the video file for a cutscene that happened just before this game. Um, basically, you know how last episode we dropped 35 points, went really hard, did really well? Chauncey Billups came up to us after the game. He was like, hey, man, great game. Rookies don't do that that often. You know, you want to go out with the team. We're going to go bowling. Let's celebrate. I was like, sure, let's do it. We actually ended up going out and drinking. I was late to practice the next day. Uh, coach said that, you know, there were some pictures of people taking me out on the town last night. I didn't actually show the pictures or anything, but uh, that I was being a little bit too crazy, that that wasn't acceptable. He understands I'm a rookie trying to fit in, but that's just, you know, that's not how the Pistons do it. So uh, he basically said that I'm back to square one. I'm back where I started, and I've got to... Um, well, we'll I've got to prove myself again. So, so we got to prove ourselves to the coach to start getting some more playing time and, and kind of get back to where we were. Because I'm pretty sure we were pretty close to, uh, to becoming a starter. I, I know we were like uh, the sixth man, then there's prospect, and then there's starter. So uh, that's pretty crazy. But anyway, we're guarding Jimmy Butler. We got this. Let's see what we can do here. 242 left in the first quarter. Ooh, new dynamic goal. I want to see what you can do. Get hot and put up eight points or more while shooting at least 60% from the field. Okay. I got you, Coach. Here's that lockdown D. You guys have been giving me some uh, some Rose tips and stuff. I can't read all the comments, but I try to read them as much as I can and appreciate the and tips that you guys do give. We learned how to um, choose who to pass to. That's R1. Hold circle. That's a pick and roll. Um, there's a few other things I forget. his burst of speed or his quick first step, but he's got one of the meanest, nastiest, filthiest crossovers in the entire league and then you add his strength and explosiveness in the air to that screw Derrick Rose he's just gonna get hurt again he's just gonna get hurt tonight <laughs> I'll break his ankles well, thanks. give him now, something to actually complain to about the game, he told me that coach pulled him aside and wanted him to take over the game by hitting a few shots and getting on a hot streak something we know he's capable of we'll see if he can fulfill what his coach wants guys Thank you, Doris. All right, let's run a pick and roll. At this point, you're showing a lot of trust in a young player when you ask him to come off the Woo! Yes! Right Good now. stuff. It's hard to ask any player to do We didn't even team, use the pick correctly. I thought he was going to come up from the left side and try to meet him halfway there, but he picked right. That's all right, though. I'm down. He looks to be one of those players. DJ Augustine. I'm down for that. And for Rose, as he returns from his knee injury, you wonder how that will affect his ability to blow by defenders, which was such a great quality he possessed prior to the injury. Shooting from the outside is solid, but he hasn't been a to this Kirk point Heinrich. in his career with that shot. So uh, there's a lot of to <laughs> Why did I just try to steal that? I didn't even press the button on my controller. It's going to be an adjustment, Kevin. I mean, you have to find your confidence after an injury like that. I think he is going to be a better shooter because if there was one thing he could work on while he was out. It's that outside jump shot. Uh, but we got to give him some Oh, time come on. Damn it. Find his game again. Right from the start, they've been oh my gosh, we had the pull up and everything. Be going their way. And Steve, I think they are ready for the fight today. This so will take it to the basket for the most part. Tipped away. Muhammad dishes the oh, help, help, help. Nice. Five to shoot. Murphy can't hit. Outing for the Bulls, it was a loss to the Jazz in Utah. Damn it, you're supposed to you know, you shoot the ball give it to me in the damn fast break, not right now. Well, Steve, it's not just difficult to win a game with low shooting percentages. All right, there's it's nearly let me come set a pick, and it's Martin penetrating. Come on, oh my god, ew, now here's Butler. 33% from the field. We got to be 60%. All right, who do I got? Who are you gonna put me on? Okay, Murphy, a screen on Martin. Offensive rebound. Heinrich kicks to Muhammad. And a great assist Whew. by Heinrich. All right, 13-13. Muhammad's got the game tied up. We had two points. We missed two of our shots. Eight that was not good. Between the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, my oh, God. All alone. Woo-hoo-hoo. Detroit takes possession. <coughs> Damn. So for the Bulls. Sangeli has checked in. And Dudley subbed in for Jimmy Butler. The Pistons have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. 
Martin gets a that was a shitty pick, roll. dude. You're leading me right into a another dude. Outside, Martin. There it is. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Very pretty play right there. I wish I would have got the points, but that's all right. I got to be a teammate before I worry about hitting coaches' challenges. Unreal. Unreal. You mother... Oh, my God. Look at Derrick Rose. Seriously, go get her, bro. I'm kidding. I'm a big Derrick Rose fan, but... All right. Here we go. In the second quarter, it looks like, oh wow, we got ourselves a pretty hefty lead. So for the Pistons, their last game, a win against Milwaukee. Martin, he's in at three. Chauncey Billups out there with Bynum. Then there's Monroe. And it's Tome in at the four slot. That's the group for Detroit right now. Ah, we crossed him over. We had an opening. We missed it. It's Martin on the wing, defended by Butler. Six to shoot. Fires from deep. Oh my god. Missing. Even that was good shot selection. We can't hit anything. This is awful. We're one for four. Twenty-five percent from the floor. Noah with a screen for Augustine. Pass to Heinrich for the three. It's honestly like it, it's really tough to get anything going when you're coming in for the last two minutes of every quarter. It's just like it's not fun. You can't kind of get a feel for the game. You can't. Uh, Martin with the bucket. Number of Start getting on fire. You can't just get a feel for it, man. It's it's tough. No, it's off the charts. It really is. And defensively, I mean, they have to start shutting down some of those lanes to the hoop. Phillips with the block. Out of bounds. Bulls ball as Chicago keeps possession. Smith checked in for Will Bynum. 23 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. What you guys gonna do? Phillips against Heinrich. Augustine from oh, the side. He's going to bust it right Three in my point. face. That was dirty. Over Oops. And over and over. That was the ninth straight point from behind the Oof. arc. It feels like they're finding the holes in the That was a bad game. shot, Chauncey. I'm deep. Nice. And the first half is now in the book. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Up by nine at the first half. Presented by the end of the first Springs. half. See what we can do in the second half. Hopefully, the Coach keeps, doesn't keep. He's gonna keep taking us out, though. Because we freaking lost his trust from the nice stupid party. You're an idiot, Trevor. Don't go out and drink that much. <laughs> and screw Chauncey for freaking telling me it was just gonna be for bowling, and then it's a long night out in the town. All right, here we go. What the fudge was that? And folks, what that was an pretty crazy. Standing array of talent we've got here. Just look at the list for okay. all time career scoring average. Jordan and, and Chamberlain and LeBron. And of course, those guys were much more than just scores, Kevin. They were winners, champions. I'm trying to so see what I want to do. As you work your way up that list, no question. That is elite company. So nice. Draw the foul. Jangelia oh, out there with Dunley. Then there's Heinrich. Then it's time Slightly Gibson. early. Wow, that didn't Even feel early at all. You see that one pretty Holy clear. crap, dude. Yeah, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And the second one's slightly late. Well, I really got to work on those. We will. We need to upgrade our free throws a little bit in the um, Always look to with be VC. A defensive team and they might not have the flashiest help out. players, but they have oh, some of the toughest, no doubt. Let's go I wasn't to paying attention. Reporter Doris Burke. Doris, what do you have? All right. Guys, Mr. Clutch, in their last game against the Bucks, put on Can't leave me open, son. Cannot leave me open like that. Here we go. Time to go in. Thanks for the great report, Doris. Uh, guys, uh, the way he carried them that night. Clark, I thought was truly incredible. Absolutely. I mean, he did the work of several players in that Woo! Got ourselves a re. Really didn't need much support at all. All right, here we go. On the break. Who do we got? Nothing. All right. Just run a pick and roll. And the coach asked him to come in and make oh, some noise. Oh, that's not who I was trying to get it to, but it still worked out. Nice. Hell yeah. Up by 10. We 
We can get our field goal percentage up to 60%. The Pistons were strong against the rest of the East last year. Didn't give away too many games, and 25 of their 29 wins came against Eastern opponents. And then we completed yeah, Coach's Challenge. For sure, but, uh, so this isn't our greatest game coming off that freaking 35-point score, but again, like, we aren't getting any playing time. It's, it's, it's tough to do anything if you aren't getting in the game, you know? Here's Augustine. Woo! That was disgusting. The other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And oh, five! First meeting of the season. This Way too early. I felt that. Interesting season I bear, I, oh, God. And of course, they'll see each other four times this We were wide open, but we were losing our stamina. It was going to be tough for us to make that shot. You guys told me in your tips. Ooh, I thought he was going to pull up on me. Here's Noah. You guys told me in the comments in the last video that uh, when you're sprinting a lot, don't like pull up after you're sprinting because you're not likely to make it. Comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. Jimmy Butler, he's checked in for Chicago. Tried to draw the foul there, didn't work out. Wow. Field goal percentage is going down the drain right now. Yeah, no brainer. They can hold it for the last shot. Heinrich passes to Augustine. He kicks to Butler from the arc. The basket is good. Wow. Assist from Augustine. All right. Butler's got. Whoa, 68 to 73. The end of the third quarter. This is not the best showing. It's not bad. I mean, we got eight points. Got a couple of assists. Right? There's just one. But um, I would have liked to. Uh, oh wow! You've been struggling tonight. Let's see if you can get back on track. Let's quarter. Your shooting percentage back up to 50 percent. Okay. Kevin, because. I'll see what I can do. Oh, wow, we're in with eight minutes left. Thank you, Coach. I'm going to show you what I can do now. Delivering the pass is important, but putting the pass in the right place for a shooter is, as you well know, huge. Yep, no question. Mark in at small forward. Monroe is out there with Smith. Then there's Rodney Stuckey, and it's Jennings in at one. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. Kicks to Martin. Let's run some pick and rolls. Nice. Yes. Draw the foul and one. Let's go. Let's hit our free throw. There it is. Taj Gibson's checked in for Augustine. Get back on D. Don't forget about defense. I totally forgot about defense there for a second. All right. Oh, we're on fire. Pass to Mark. He dishes it to Monroe. Out to Stuckey. Damn it. Come on, guys. Here's Careful with that ball. Textbook example there. That was beautiful transition play after the steal. All the bad call for pass. Come on, man. I'm just trying to skip the cutscenes. It feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. That didn't work out. Let's run it again. Six on the shot clock. Nice. That was not the best. Oh shit, that was not the best play. There. All right, new dynamic goal. I need you to focus on taking care of the ball. I don't want to see another turnover the rest of this quarter. Okay. So he completed his first goal. Now we're on to his second. Of the fourth quarter gone now. Noah with a screen on Jennings. Rose dishes to Butler. That's good. Ah. And now both of these clubs really in a good Man, this is such a close game. This is good. This is the fourth game, quarter comeback, baby. Down the For me personally, at least. Jennings passes to Martin. The feet now to Monroe. Feet down low. Back to Martin. Woo! Good shit. And the Pistons lead by four. He shot the ball exceptionally well as they built this lead for themselves here. See what happens when you put me in the game, coach? Ooh, get that out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. Picked up by Stucky Gibson. Sweet little floater. Now there's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just Wow, we are on fire on fire, man. I've never seen it. Jennings that on fire. To the oh, fudge! I reacted way too late to that. I had to do that about a second and a half before I did. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good thought. Oh, my gosh. 
and that's embarrassing. On the way up. And that's but I, I should have done that like a second and a half before I did. Oh man, that was the most delayed reaction I've ever seen. He's wide. Oh my god, another one! No! I and coach said no more turnovers. I just gave him two. Oh, and we went from a B minus to down to a barely a C plus. Oh, we're all right. We're okay. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> just seeing these passes is way too late, man. It's early in the morning. when Reaction skills must be down. That dude was wide freaking open. That. Oh wow. Yikes. Man. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I've got my hands covering my eyes right now. Coach is like, I ain't having none of that shit. This dude's coming out and he's staying out for the rest of the game. Oh, that was bogus. Alright, coach. Well, I'm sorry. I was being a little bit reckless with the ball, but... I mean... You gotta understand I'm a rookie. Oh, that sucks. I was still playing well, dude. I don't, I was freaking on fire. I was gonna go in there and tear shit up, but he didn't want to give me the chance. So there you go. Is there gonna be a post-game interview? They're gonna tear me apart if there is. I hope there's not. Oh, Maurice hey, coach, Cheeks. You wanted to see me? Come on in. I did. Take a seat. So what happened out there? That was a great opportunity to show me what you could do, but I re didn't really see much. I expect a little bit more, to be honest. Yeah, wow. No, it didn't really go how I expected it to. Look, you aren't going to shine in every game. No one expects that. But a young guy like you really needs to take advantage when you get those chances. I can't get you more minutes unless you can show me you deserve them. Yeah, I, I hear you, coach. Hey, I'll do better next time out. Good. That's the attitude you need to have. But I'm going to be straight with you. I'll have to pull back your minutes until we figure out how best to utilize your game. What the fudge, dude? I need more time, not less. Minutes. Yo, I'm barely getting enough chances as it is. Now you're going to keep me out even more? I know you're frustrated, but that's the life of a rookie. You have to pay your dues. And understand, sometimes it can take a while before you see your hard work pay off. Yo, how am I supposed to make an impact and show you what I can do when I'm coming off the bench at random times. You can't expect me to stand out. You're not even letting me get a chance to get into a rhythm, man. Right now, we're just trying to put the best players on the floor as much as we can. Until you can show me that you're one of them, your playing time probably isn't gonna be as much as you'd like. Yo, this is crazy, okay? Crazy. It's not about an impact, all right? Whenever your number's called, make sure I see you giving it 110%. Do that, and I'll start to give you more chances again. It's not that complicated. Now, getting back to this file. See, see that's bull... Like, seriously, that's bull crap, dude. That's exactly what I was saying. I can't get into a rhythm when I'm coming off the bench at random times. This is BS. And I was doing well that last game. Thanks for stopping by. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check in with all of our players. So... I'm not happy. How are you feeling about the team at this point of the season? Screw this. I'm not happy. I want more minutes. Well, I've been playing pretty well lately. I feel like if I had some more minutes, I could really take my game to the next level. <laughs> you have stepped it up lately. But Coach is the one who ultimately decides on the rotation. I'll talk to him, see if there's anything we can do. I kind of want to threaten, but uh, I'll just go ahead and accept. Yeah, that'd be great, but only if you think it makes sense. I don't want to second-guess coach. I'm just letting you know what I'm thinking. Of course. We're always going to make a decision that's right for this organization, but I appreciate your input. That's good to hear. Well, he was really nice, and I was mad at the start. Now I'm not mad anymore. But still, seriously, that was bullshit. We had 15 points. We had... An assist, a rebound, we were starting to heat up, we were finally getting some playing time, we just happened to have two bad passes in a row, it happens, like seriously, you can't take somebody out for that, but, um, whatever man, I, I don't know, I'm pissed off, hopefully we can ask for a trade soon or something like that, because these guys, Maurice Cheeks, I want to freaking punch him in the face, anyway, thank you guys for watching, see you guys in the next episode, hopefully we can do better, peace out.